Hey everybody, my name is Marcus Stone and in this video I will show you what is the best web hosting right now for OpenCart. I'm going to compare three web hosting providers. The first one is SiteGround, the second one is A2 Hosting and the third one is Bluehost. I made the comparison in this order. The first one we are going to talk about SiteGround and A2 Hosting and Bluehost. I'm going to talk about the customer service, the quality of service, how fast they are, what I think and what are the negative about each of those sites. So the fast answer, in my opinion, the best one is SiteGround, then the Bluehost and the, the third one is A2 Hosting. You will have also link on the description for registering and creating domain and web hosting. You can just click on it and register domain and web hosting only if you find this video helpful. Okay, so let's start. The first thing what I love about SiteGround comparing to other services is the quality of customer support. So you get like 24 hour support with phone, email, live chat. The second thing, uh, the quality servers. The servers are way, way better comparing to Bluehost and A2 hosting. And I'm going to also show you some numbers later in the video. The third thing which I like, which also A2 hosting and Bluehost doesn't have, which SiteGround has, is that you can change the data center. So let's say that you want to, I don't know, focus on a United States citizens and you are from the Europe or Asia or India, it doesn't matter. You can change the data center to USA and I will show you why, how. So right now when you would choose a plan and domain, you can choose here to data center to Australia, USA, Asia, United Kingdom. So your loading speed of your website is much faster. That's really good now, but here it comes. What I personally don't like about it is the one thing is that when you would choose 12 month period, right? For 395, we will talk also about the price plans. After the 12 months will end, you need to pay 10 euro monthly. That's why I always recommend when you're going to choose a period, choose 24 months or 36 months. That's just my personal recommendation. So this is the one thing I don't like, but with the price, you get really high quality and that's good. Now about the plans, the first one is startup. Then you got to grow big and go geek. So the startup is really good. If you have only one website, one shop, one website, go with the startup. But if you're going to have more websites, choose grow big because you can add it to one, one plan. So unlimited websites for grow big, of, of course, free SSL, WordPress, but you're not going to use that. Maybe you will. Then you get database. And of course you got 30 days money back guarantee. That's what I like too. Now the second, which I like is A2 hosting. So A2 hosting has cheap prices, but with cheap prices comes really bad servers. Like they're not good. They're not really good and also not that good customer service. If you're going to have a problem, they're not really good to help you. Uh, there are a lot of stories on Reddit and YouTube when people were saying that their site crashed for two weeks and no one could help them in A2 hosting. Even when you look on their site, how it looks like, you can see it's a little bit clumsy, right? It's like the design is... Okay, it looked like it was made in India. I'll be damn honest. That's the truth. That's the fact. That's what I think. And I'm not biased. I'm not biased. Just look at that. Like if you would look how these blocks look here, look at this. How can, what are these photos? So this is A2 hosting. If you are for the price, for the cheap price, choose A2 hosting. Okay. Now let's go further. Yeah, too many better reviews. If you would write like A2 hosting reviews Reddit, you would get a lot of answers. And the last thing is Bluehost. Bluehost, in my opinion, the benefits are that you get much more space comparing to SiteGround. Much more space. But you don't have really good customer support comparing to SiteGround. You have customer support, but comparing to SiteGround, it's not that much. Then it's a little bit cheaper, like 20, 30 euro, if you're ordering the 24 month 
uh, plan. It's a little bit cheaper, but not that much. The other things are really similar. Uh, the servers are worse comparing to SiteGround. So you need to ask yourself if it's worth it to choose Bluehost over 24 euro or 25 euro comparison price. Now, the next thing is that it got UTEC server and SiteGround has many more servers here that you can, the data centers that you can choose. And what I wanted to show you that is like the whole Bluehost company is owned by Endurance International Group. And it's like, you can also read it, a lot of things on Twitter, on Reddit, that every site under Endurance International Group, year by year, every web hosting website got worse and worse quality year by year because they want to focus on the profit. And now I'm going to back it up with analytics. So first we got a uptime test. This is like downtime comparing sign, sign ground US server versus Bluehost server. You can see it yourself that the load time is much faster. And look at this, the speed, right? Look at the speed between SiteGround and Bluehost. Do you see it? Do you see the difference here? It's crazy. SiteGround is much faster comparing to Bluehost, much, much faster. And this is why I recommend SiteGround for you. So again, if you find this only helpful, I'm not selling you something that, oh my God, but this is the truth. So you can just click down below in the description and register the domain and hosting through it. If you want to, it's up to you. I'm not pushing you to anything, but I wanted to make this video. So thank you very much everybody for watching. If you have any questions, ask me down below in the comments. I'll be really happy to help you. And yeah, thank you. See ya and goodbye.